Hi and welcome to another episode of Misunderstood the Assignment. My name is Shreya and the assignment at hand today is a word that honestly excites some people and brings a chill down some other people's spines. Today we're talking about hustle, the good, the bad and the ugly. And we have some really wonderful guests with their wonderful insights. Today we have with us Aishwarya, who is the video lead at BuzzFeed, aka my manager. Aishwarya started working at BuzzFeed as the video producer and today she leads the video team there. I believe Aishwarya is a great guest for today's episode because she's not only responsible for ensuring that she has a healthy work-life balance, but also to make sure that the rest of us in the team do as well. Aishwarya Hope you're excited to talk about your favorite topic today. I am. I love the introduction. Thank you, Shreya. Yay. Okay. okay. Race for me. Woo! We also have with us Ankita Chavla, a social media strategist and a content creator. With her monthly boot camps, Ankita has helped a lot of people increase their Instagram engagement game. And she's also an advocate for having multiple sources of income. Who better to discuss about hustle than Hustle Rani herself? Welcome to the podcast, Ankita. Thank you for having me. Yay. Are we ready to talk about hustle today? I mean, uh, you paid me to be here, so yes. Right off the bat, I want to ask you guys, what comes to your mind when someone says the word hustle? Now I think of it as like, keep doing, you have to be on all the time. It's like this really high energy word. Like you're always meant to be productive. Like it is productivity, but the idea that you're always meant to be that way is something that comes to mind. And it just makes me a little bit like, oh my God, I'm really tired already. It's also exhausting to hear, right? Like, Like I remember growing up, if anyone said the word hustle, it was like, hard working but then now because of the kind of different content that there is out on the internet it's somehow coming across as you either work or you're lazy like there's no in between right do you think that in order to be successful you have to work like endless hours and just you know go above and beyond your capacity to make it big like is there a healthy way to do that there definitely is a healthy way to do that to answer your question whether Someone has to work endless hours to get where they are. Some days, yes, you have to do it. But do you have to do it 24-7 till you retire? So in the hopes that you'll probably end up a billionaire? No, you don't really have to do that. And I do feel like when a lot of like fresh jobbers, fresh out of college, they join these corporate jobs with so much fire in them and they go above and beyond. I know I went above and beyond to prove a point that, you know, like, I'm going to literally take up every task that comes my way, overperform and let everybody know, like, who I am. When I realized, like, it's only when you go through that phase, you realize boundary setting in terms of not just the people around you, but even with yourself is so important. You need to know when to stop, when to deliver, how much to deliver, and when exactly you need to overperform. And only those areas... And those specific moments, I feel, are worth hustling for. But 24-7 is kind of cringe. Yeah, it's a little uh, too much to expect from someone yeah. else. Is it possible for people to hustle while also taking care of themselves and taking some time off for themselves? Or is that just a wo- healthy work-life balance? It is possible to some extent I think uh, but it takes practice I think like you have to it's a trial and error process like you might have to hustle to the point of burnout initially to realize that okay this is like if I work this many hours for this long it burns me out so the next time maybe I reduce that so for example even if you're working a nine to six job and you decide that you know I do have more in me to take something like a side gig And you take up a side gig, but then you know that you can only take one project for the next seven days and then you want a little break again. Yeah. Then you take another project after like a one week break and do it. So it's possible to have that balance, but I don't think people just know it. I think people make their mistakes. They hustle through like weeks and weeks and weeks of not having any personal time, burn themselves out and then deliver a really bad product like to all their clients. And that's when, you know, they realize that, okay, maybe this is not the best way to do it. But It is possible, maybe not right away, but eventually, yes. So basically, you feel burnt out when you have worked too much and burnout is mental as well as physical symptoms that your body is giving to you to tell you to take a breather. So 
I just want you guys to like you guys have already said that you all have gone through a burnout, right? I want to ask what are some of the symptoms that you all notice and that you all can speak about right now so people can identify if they are going through a burnout as well. Anything specific that happens and you're like, okay, I'm burnt out. Yeah, for me, it's I start like hating the things I'm doing. Like I do love my job and I do love other things I do beyond my job as well. And when it becomes a burden, Uh, and when I don't look forward to it, I know that I've reached the stage of just I don't want to do this. Like this is that's one of the indicators that I've noticed in myself. Yeah. And the other one is I'm just I just become very irritable um, with my family, with even like having a team. It's I have to be very mindful that I'm not because it's going to affect like the team's morale and things like that. So it's very apparent to me when I start. Uh, you know, sometimes we have new video editors working with us, and I'm giving feedback, and it's very like instead of. being a little bit kinder that they are newer i'll just expect them to know everything yeah. and i'm i just don't have that patience that's when i know that okay i've burnt out i need to take a step back and just like you know be <laughs> away from work and try to i don't know what my process is after that but this is like the sign where i know that okay i've reached like that point you know one of the things about burnout so i have to say that i am very lucky to work at a place like busfeed india but honestly i'm glad that we have the kind of a work culture where we can tell our uh, managers or our superiors that hey we are feeling burnt out and everyone in the team just knows that okay this person needs space let's give them their time let them take their time off but there are a lot of companies in india who don't acknowledge burnout as a literal issue right and that is horrible because literally when you're burnt out no matter how hard you try you come across as a bad employee and imagine not being able like imagine telling someone that you're burnt out and them saying oh what an excuse burnt out so that i cannot be, imagine so like so many people must be going through that and yeah. that's just so unfair uh vasveer and i does think about you know mental health issues and things like that when we have new employees coming in they do get that mindset with them so it it's yeah. like we have this thing where we literally used to tell employees like on the first one month that they have to shut their laptops at 6 pm oh my god yeah they have to Good. even if you have any work you just shut it and you leave she actually thought i hated her for the first one month you but we had that so it's also <laughs> something we needed to train into the employees oh, no, that 100% yeah. because like when you try to do it for the first time you're just like uh why are they trying to change how we have already done things yeah. even my mind when i joined this company yeah. i came from like a media college which just told me that you're going if you're going to be working on film sets you're going to work for 16 hours mm. i was ready for it i was like it's fine i have to do it but then when i joined busfeed it was and they told me i have to work 10 to 6 i was like 6 matlab it must be like yeah. 8 9 oh. oh i thought 8 oh. 9 because i was like ha i'll work sure why not because yeah. i have previously worked but they made me work till 11 pm and all and then when they started like shutting their laptops even they like even we don't like shut our laptops at 6 anymore yeah. uh it's just the f- f- initial training that's given but like it's difficult to get out of that mindset that's literally in all of us like every company does this we've yeah. all been in like situations where we have to work uh above and beyond so well Yeah. That's the work culture in our country. <laughs> Since we're discussing burnout, I actually have a fun game segment for you guys. It's called Is this true or did Shreya make it up? Feel like everything Shreya makes up. So, yeah. uh, are there any prizes, rewards, gifts yeah. for it? Uh, If it's a game, there has to be a reward. I'll get back yeah. to you after discussing this. Also, I'll reconsider team. not giving you a raise <laughs> uh, if I No, no, that's huh, I mean like for the growth of the show, uh, we uh, might as well. <laughs> guys, just play the game. Okay. <laughs> This is bad spirit. Okay, seventy-seven percent of people have experienced burnout at their job, and forty-two percent have left their jobs because they felt burnt out. This is a result of mental and emotional stress due to working long hours and trying to keep up with the unrealistic expectations set by the toxic excesses of hustle culture. Is this true or false? I think this is true because there were too many specific statistics. Yeah, it. it was a very specific. Really, y'all think I won't make statistics up? Like, no, but it was like seventy-seven percent, forty-two percent. I think you would make like round figure statistics. Yeah. Mm. Like, had it been like, do you think sixty-nine percent of people oh, quit their job at four twenty yeah. p.m. <laughs> and then I would be like, yeah, now she's like yeah. bullshitting through Fine, it. Fine, y'all caught me. This one is true. Next one. Okay. Okay. 
statistics show that people who follow the hustle culture tend to live shorter than people who have a balanced work life no oh, this is something you made up how can they live a shorter life like it's i mean i understand mental health issues do crop up when you're burnt out but i don't think they live a shorter life <laughs> i think it's true i mean if they're really dying out there then companies really need to take care of their like they're the Girl, killing people the microwaves are killing us yeah. i mean so <laughs> i can imagine yeah. literally everything around us is killing us so if we already have shorter lives and if there's like mental stress i yeah. can imagine it might just yeah reduce good, good explanation but i hella made that up what <laughs> <laughs> they definitely don't have shorter lives. Yeah. They probably have a lot Or, more money to, you know, for longevity. But how do you know everybody's hustle is getting them money? Okay, TBH, mm, they true. might have shorter lives. That's... I just think that they have not conducted a research on this. <laughs> this was just my assumption. Maybe it'll come like, out like... Oh my God, so much work gone die. So this content is not evergreen because five years later, this research comes out, we'll be like, oh, falls there. But actually And if it does, it. then please credit me. My Instagram is shreyashetty3. Okay, oh, wow. moving on. <laughs> Consumption of drugs and alcohol to cope up with work stress <laughs> is a sign of burnout. True or false? I think true. Sounds true. Sounds I true. have gone to a bar after having a stressful day. <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent. Same. Is it true? Yeah, <laughs> it is true. I was hoping that I made something up, but yeah, drugs <laughs> and alcohol. It's like on yes. some days, my best friend comes with a twelve percent alcoholic concentration. There you go. Those are the days of burnout. <laughs> Okay, so this was great. The game segment is over. What do we get? Uh, your hamper wins? will be delivered to you via email. But who won? Shit, was I supposed to check who won? This was just a fun game, guys. Come on, oh nobody God. wins or loses. In the end, we're all participation trophy. In the end, we're all losers. This is where hustle culture started from. People didn't want participation yeah, trophy. Yeah, you have two competitive <laughs> ladies on the couch. You can't just let us go without a That's reward. That's what I'm saying. In the end, we're all losers because oh we are. Oh my God! I thought she'll say winners. She's a corporate slaves, guys. Well, now that we've had our self reflections, I think it is time to conclude this episode of the podcast. Thank you guys for coming. This was a really nice chat and I hope you guys had fun with my fun games with no rewards. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Misunderstood the Assignment. Please don't forget to tune in every week for a new episode and also you can get our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify and any other streaming platform where you listen to your podcasts. Don't forget to give us a nice review and a rating. <laughs>